Hello everybody. Welcome back to Art by the Lake. I know in the last video I mentioned it was uh, it's going to be a while before we got going again. We've been traveling quite a bit and uh, we actually got evacuated by Hurricane Florence. So uh, it's been a little tricky. Um, and we haven't had time to paint and then when we did start going with it we had a few technical issues. Um, first off I ran out of canvases. Next off, our time-lapse camera kind of died on us. So, um, this may or may not be on time-lapse. We'll see when we get to the end. But I decided to do a 10-color swirl today that is inspired by Hurricane Michael and Hurricane Florence. Um, and if this one comes out okay, um, you will see it on eBay and we will benefit Hurricane Relief with it. So some of the money will go toward Hurricane Relief. Um, I've got a ton of black, what I would call too much black. I've got nine other colors, purples, reds, oranges, sort of going for the radar image kind of look today. Um, I'm not sure we're going to get there, but we'll see. Um, ten colors, all of them have a little bit of coconut milk serum in them, except yellow. Yellow has silicone in it. We wanted to punch up yellow. I'm going to pour black into the corners here and here. And then I'm going to pour a lot of black into the center just to sort of get things flowing outward. Um, we're going to use the handy dandy old Pyrex measuring cup. And um, we'll get things going here in a minute. This is mostly straight pours. Uh, I don't plan to save much of it, but in looking at it now I probably have too much purple. This color up here. Uh, so I probably won't use all of that. And I do want to mix yellow in a couple times just to get some yellow streaks through it. So. Before we get going here, I'm going to nick up the corners like I like to because the paint doesn't always flow nicely into the corners. So, we'll get a little black in the corners. If you look, I've painted the edges uh, and I have this up on thumbtacks as I usually do. Just to keep it off the paint surface. So, let's start mixing our blend here. Remember when you're mixing into these, I do it gently. And also remember, first in, last out. So whatever you want to be on the outside of the painting is what you should pour in last. Whatever you want to be in the center of the painting, you should pour in first. So, we've got our colors in order. I'm going to start with just a little bit of black, just so we can sort of have the, the eye of the hurricane. So we'll see how that works out. So we go in with our black. We're going to go in gently with our purple. And like I said, I'm not going to go a whole lot with this color. I intentionally left it sort of unblended. So you'll see there's a little bit of streaking in reds and blues in there. That's a good thing. Next up we have a deep red, almost a magenta color. We'll get that in. And there, we're not saving much of that for touch-up. Then we have red. Again, I'm pouring very slowly. Last in, first out. So the colors that are in there already will be toward the very center of the hurricane, so to speak. Next up, orange. I made all these colors myself. Some of them are pure right out of the bottle, but not many. Um, I use all different mixes of uh, Artist Loft and some just plain old Walmart colors. I'm using my normal mixture of two parts Floetrol, one part paint, one part distilled water. And yes, I just dropped orange on the canvas. Don't worry about that. That will be long gone, blown away by the hurricane. So no worries there. I'm going to set a little yellow out so that I can put it in again later, as I mentioned. The yellow is already doing some crazy stuff because of the silicone in it. So we'll see. This is a sort of fluorescent color green. Oops. This is a deep green. We 
We've been traveling quite a bit. If you've been watching any of my other videos from a few weeks ago, we were out west for quite a while. Um, we were down in North Carolina at the beach during the height of Hurricane Florence and got evacuated out. So that was not fun, but we were able to go back. So that was fun. You can see some of these later colors are sinking quite a bit. So that's a little bit weird, but we'll just see how it plays out. So I'm going to finish the yellow up here. So we have some outer bands of the hurricane. And then we'll finish the blue up. And then I'm going to finish with a little bit of black again. But you'll see before we get going here, we're going to launch black. So there's just a little black. So I like to put this out in the middle so that our paint has something to ride on. And I'm going to slowly and gently switch hands here. This would be a very bad time to l drop something. Um, okay, and we'll slowly start our swirl. So here we go, ready or not. It's usually quiet during this part of the video because I am holding my breath a little bit. It's already doing some interesting things. We'll see if we need to tilt as we get going with this one. So far I kind of like what it's doing. And I think we'll just go with what we have here. but. I'm not sure there's going to be enough paint in here to blow it off the edges like I want it to. So we may have to uh, do a little tilt. But so far so good. The outer bands of the hurricane have not reached the edge of the canvas. I'll tighten up my swirl here a little bit as we get into this dark black color. I'm going to try to get every last little drop out of this. Okay. So that's good. Let's get that out of the way. So again, let's give it a little bit of a lubrication here to get it going in the form of black. We want it to get to the edge of the canvas if we can. Yeah, we'll tilt for sure. I don't have enough black to make this all solid black. So, yeah, if you just saw a flash, that was the aforementioned uh, failing time lapse camera. It has now decided to flash. So, like it quite a bit here. So, I'm going to be very gentle in my tilting. See how messy we can get with this one. Any doubt about whether there will or will not be time lapse has just been resolved because I just shut it off. So let me get a paint stick here for black. And so we're going to move some of this black around just to even it out. I like what I have, so I don't want to spend a whole lot of time tilting it and losing what I do have. So. We're going to try to do it without tilting. We've been asked by a lot of people about 
doing these paintings. I find them to be a lot of fun. I like the, the chaos and randomness, the unpredictability. So if you like that sort of thing and you're watching, so you must like that sort of thing, um, we do encourage everybody to try it. If you have any questions, you can always reach me at artbythelake at gmail.com. As always, please follow us on YouTube. Ask your friends to follow us on YouTube. And you can buy these paintings if you have any interest in buying any painting. Um, you can buy them on eBay and Etsy. Uh, we've mentioned this in other videos. I'm finding that Etsy just simply does not get the traffic that eBay does. So um, it's hard to justify the effort to double list and put things on both Etsy and eBay. So I'm liking what I see. Hope you do too. I'm going to mess around with it here a little bit so that it does not flow off this corner. I'm going to jack this corner up a little bit. But in the meantime, thank you for tuning in. You can find this painting later. We'll probably call it uh, Florence or Michael or Michael Florence, Hurricane Michael Florence inspired, something along that line. It will be on eBay. Um, like what I'm seeing, we're getting some good development here um, and the cells are popping up. So please tune in again. Please follow us and subscribe on YouTube. We are Art by the Lake. You can find us on eBay, Art by the Lake and Etsy, Art by the Lake. And if you have any questions, you can email me at artbythelake at gmail.com. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you soon for our next video.